the relationship between individual mental health and societal dynamics like political injustice, crime, wars, and war crimes is complex and often operates in feedback loops. At the individual level, mental health issues can arise or worsen due to various factors such as trauma, social isolation, economic hardship, and systemic discrimination. These challenges can lead to feelings of powerlessness, hopelessness, and alienation. When left unaddressed, these mental health issues can contribute to behaviors that harm both the individual and society, such as substance abuse, violence, and criminal activity. Conversely, societal factors like political injustice, economic inequality, and conflict can exacerbate mental health problems on a mass scale. Living under oppressive regimes or in environments plagued by violence and instability can have profound psychological effects on entire populations, leading to widespread trauma, anxiety, and depression. In extreme cases, this can manifest in mass atrocities and war crimes committed by both state actors and non-state actors. The concept that the visible is the manifestation of the invisible suggests that the observable outcomes in society, such as political injustice and violence, are often rooted in deeper, underlying issues that may not be immediately apparent. For example, societal unrest and conflict may stem from systemic injustices, historical traumas, and unaddressed grievances that simmer beneath the surface. Similarly, individual mental health issues can be both a cause and a consequence of broader societal dynamics, reflecting and perpetuating deeper structural problems. The term idiocratization typically refers to a hypothetical scenario where society becomes increasingly characterized by anti intellectualism shallow thinking, and the devaluation of expertise. It's a concept often associated with the dystopian idea of society devolving into a state where ignorance and irrationality prevail over reason and critical thinking. Describing this process as a malignant zombie apocalypse adds a vivid metaphorical layer to the concept. In this interpretation, malignant suggests that the spread of anti-intellectualism and the erosion of critical thinking are not just negative but actively harmful to society, akin to a cancerous growth. Meanwhile, zombie apocalypse conjures images of mindless, relentless hordes consuming everything in their path, which could symbolize the spread of ignorance and irrationality through the population. So, metaphorically, you could say that the process of idiocratization resembles a malignant zombie apocalypse in the sense that it represents a destructive force that spreads unchecked, consuming reason, knowledge, and critical thinking along the way. This imagery captures the dire consequences of a society that devalues expertise and embraces ignorance, painting a vivid picture of societal decay and collapse.